Reality Capture just released a brand new update called version 1.3, and it has a bunch of nifty new features. In this video, I wanna specifically focus on their new unwrapping and texturing method, um, which is called mosaic-based texturing. So it's supposed to make uh, your textures look a lot sharper because it tries to project from a single camera um, the, the texture rather than try to um, blend a bunch of different cameras into a single texture. So um, let's let's take a look at this example right here. So this is a, a little facade that I scan in Armenia. And the reason I did, I'm, I'm using it as an example is because it has a, a plaque with a bunch of text on it. And I and when I was scanning it, I also specifically got up close and I wanted to, I tried to make sure that the plaque would show up um, in the scan and that it was readable. So this model is a result of both the default unwrapping settings and the default texturing settings which are called um, for unwrap it's the geometric based unwrapping that's the default one and in texturing it's visibility based um, so what happens if we unwrap now with the new mosaic mosaic based texturing so as you can tell it's a lot sharper at least when, the, when it comes to the text and we can even take a look at the texture itself in the UV so here is the previous unwrap it looks like it didn't really utilize the UV, UV space too well. A bunch of little islands. Um, but then with the new method, it seems like it's packed a lot better. And what I'm also noticing is the fact that this whole area has so much space in the UV space. Maybe it's calculating the ground sampling distance a little bit better based on uh, the cameras. Like for the most part, the cameras are, are back here. But it, if it sees an area that is better captured in detail, and even if I'm unwrapping with a fixed texel size, which is also the default in Reality Capture, it, I think it's prioritizing areas that have more texture resolution. So like that's really nice to see here. One thing to know here is I'm still using the default texturing method here. And supposedly the default texturing method is also much faster than it was before. So that's that's something really nice. I should note that the mosaic-based unwrapping does take much longer. I don't know if it's a little bit longer or a ton, ton longer. I haven't put enough time into to comparing the two, but mosaic-based texturing will take a lot longer. And this is also a pretty fairly small model, 100, you know, 100 images. But yeah, the results kind of do speak for themselves. Um, this area is much more detailed. Let's let's compare a little bit more. Perhaps let's let's take a look here. I had some zoomed in shots of the these windows. So let's go back and forth. I think I'm seeing a bit more detail in. Uh, not too much, not not super different when it comes to here. I, it's likely due to um, the texturing being the same, so it's still blending the the images to, uh, in the same way. But I think there's probably still a, a, an increase in in perceived like textile resolution just because the UVs are packed a little bit better. So I'm going back and forth. I'm not seeing too big of a difference. The real magic happens is when when you combine both unwrap uh, the mosaic based unwrapping and mosaic based texturing. So let's take a look at that. So um, let's go back to the the text here. So this is default unwrap, default texturing. Now let's go to new unwrap and new texturing. So this is better unwrapped, but also the texturing method is quite a bit different. Um, it's not. I wouldn't say it's like a clear win in every scenario, but uh, but let's let's take a let's take a look. So um, let's compare the new unwrap with the old texturing, which is this. The new unwrap with the new texturing, which is this. So it's definitely a lot sharper, definitely a lot uh, more contrast. I think with that also comes perhaps a little bit of more noise. So let's compare the old texturing, new texturing. And come closer so you can hear you you're starting to see the grooves in the in the in the rock here and how it was kind of formed and that's because again it's trying to use a single camera for for every island that it's projecting onto and so that means it's you're probably going to get as as uh, as high resolution as your images themselves are rather than a blend i think there, this is another example up here is if we compare uh, the old texturing and the new texturing that's nice. You're starting to see a lot more detail. So I think it's, it's 
it does have a different look to it. I think that's definitely something to be aware of, um, especially here. I, I think there's it, there is some benefit to blending images. Um, and I think the blend or like just the look of this texturing isn't amazing in this, in this area. I, I much prefer the look of, um, the default texture, the default texturing method here. And this is another example here. So, uh, this is a window, so you're not going to get really good textures. And when you have mosaicing, uh, texturing turned on because it's not blending cameras, uh, and, and the, the window doesn't like, you don't have a bunch of pixels converging onto a surface you're going to have very hard projections onto areas that uh, don't really have a good convergence. So um, that's something to note. But again, when it comes to like small details, you st you'll start to see a lot sharper, much sharper uh, results. So old, new, old, new, old, new. That's really nice. Um, so my recommendation, I think, even if you don't use the new texturing method, I, re I do recommend using the new unwrapping method, which is this. Uh, you're just going to get probably better UVs, uh, but it does take longer. So, you know, and it's also experimental. So, and, um, you know, take this all with a grain of salt. Do your own method. Um, let's take a look at the other RC project that I have open. Here I'm going to compare only two models, uh, the older model, which is the old unwrap and the old texturing, and the new model with the new unwrap and the new texturing. So this is the old old method. It's a big radio telescope also in Armenia. Um, let's now switch to the new one. So you can tell, again, with this area where it doesn't have much convergence uh, of, of pixels because it's you know it's supposed to be um, see-through, uh, you don't have the blend, but you the, 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 the strong projections, the hard projections actually work quite well here. It looks like you can kind of see through it and you have a lot more detail. Let's perhaps also zoom in on uh, parts of the dish itself. Old, new, old, you know, definitely a lot more, it feels like a lot more detail is coming. Again, with the detail comes also a bit of noise, and I think that's probably due to the quality of the images themselves. Old, yeah, let's come in close. New, old, new. Yeah, I'm definitely noticing more and more noise, uh, but that's, I think that really is due to the quality of the images that I took. One more example. It, it does also have a different quality to it, I have to say, because of all this noise. It, it To me, it looks, it's starting to look a bit more like Metashape texturing than Reality Capture texturing. And there, there's differences in the way they, they do their thing. So old, new, old, new. So yeah, I think one more, maybe we can look at here. I, I think I should also mention this, that I'm starting to notice, um, the UVs a bit. Typically, if I see this in like a in a game context or in Unity or Unreal, it's typically due to like UV precision. Um, but in the old method, in the old unwrap and the old texturing, you have a pretty seamless blend of all of the islands. Here, I'm starting to notice like quite quite harsh um, island separation. I don't know why that is. I, maybe that's just in Reality Capture. Maybe I should look at it in Blender. I don't know if they're um, not using the precision, but that is something to note. But again, there's definitely more detail that that uh, comes out. Old, new, old, new, old, new. So, yeah, I hope that um, is helpful. There's quite a few, quite a bit new of new features in this version 1.3. I recommend reading through their more detailed. Um, capture or their release notes. So I'll, I'll link this in the description because this is mo mo much more detailed than you've pro what, than what you've probably seen in their marketing. Uh, yeah, hope that's helpful. Take it easy, guys.